Hi everyone, this is Natasha. I wanted to show you the everyday craft paper stack, the 12 by 12 that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And this is the Paper Studio, which is their brand. It's uh, regularly priced $19.99. I picked it up when it was 50% uh, off sale, which they have periodically throughout the year. And that's when I stock up on my regular craft paper, the plain um, 8 and a half by 11 or the 12 by 12s. They also have them in various um, other items like um, note cards and envelopes, and I just love craft paper. To me, it's the combination of utilitarian with um, punch and design. So this is the everyday. It's 20 designs, three um, of each pattern, and they're single-sided. I'm going to show you. Um, I do cut away the little sticky, or it's not little, the large sticky panels on the sides, which go over um, the entire sides to keep the pack intact and I used to tuck them under but I've been lately cutting them off because I've been using both the front and the back covers. The front cover is always lovely to use when you need a little accent because it's scaled down patterns from the 12 by 12 paper and sometimes I use them on inches or ETCs because they're a nice um, scale, nice size. And the back page um, is a lightweight um, cardboard, so I use that uh, to punch out images with, um, you know, like this little mason jar. So nothing goes to waste. So let me show you what the inside patterns look like. And again, there's three pages of each, and they're single sided, and it's a nice weight paper. They are lovely um, music notes. I'm thinking of using this for my holiday cards as the um, accent paper background because more than likely I'll be using the note cards um, stacks which come to 50, 50 to a pack, a nice pattern, flower pattern, a simple yet effective polka dot. Another pattern looks like it's um, slightly distressed. And again, these are all, these are all flat. There's no uh, epoxy glitter um, or anything on them. A nice pinstripe. It's always nice to have a, a pinstripe in a collection because um, that's kind of my go-to for masculine cards. It's easy to incorporate that. Nice kind of a um, flowery pattern. Almost like Bahamas. I don't know why that makes me think of Bahamas, but um, this one is all chandeliers. Typeface, which is always helpful. Zebra print. I think they felt compelled that they had to include this. Not sure how I'll use that, but I might find a way. This is a lovely pattern. It has all the various advertising, uh, including circus and oh, admit one, and that's really cool. I like that extra, extra uh, page of really lovely butterflies. You could totally epoxy them if you want to. Houndstooth. Wall. Now, if there was an entire paper pack of twelve on craft background, I would totally buy it because I just love the combination. There's something about it. Again, the utilitarian with the very, you know, dainty design. Uh, a fleur de lis, a large polka dot. Well, that's a nice, hefty polka dot. <laughs> um, paisley very elaborate paisley uh, handwritten I don't know if I could write that uh, read that I don't know if it's in English it could be I'm not sure if I'll figure it out but it's a great background um, a really bold swirl background and diagonal stripes that's the last one so really nice to kind of have on hand especially if you need just a little something, a pop of some interest on a card or a layout, or you can totally use it for projects like creating um, gift bags or gift boxes because it's sturdy enough. It's a nice, um, nice weight. Um, I wish I knew what weight this is. I might have to research and find out whether it's a. Um, it's not 110 pounds, so it might be an 80 pound weight. It feels a little sturdier than that. But so that's the craft everyday from Paper Studio that I picked up on sale. 
uh, at Hobby Lobby, now that there is one uh, locally. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, if you have a paper collection that you would like uh, shown page by page that you think I might have, by all means, um, ask and I'll see if I have it. And if I don't have not already done a page by page view, and I'll pop this to the list, um, the playlist on, on my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, list them or suggestions, list them, list them below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the thumbs up. It's free for you and helps me out. And I will see you guys next time.